Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. A few years ago, someone gave me this little coaster that has this expression on it. Karma's just sharpening her nails and finishing her drink. She says she will be with you shortly. Well, while it's humorous, that is how we often look at the world around us. That karma is going to come around and get even for us with those folks who maybe we feel as though we've been wronged. That we are hoping and maybe even crossing our fingers thinking, oh, they're going to get theirs. Well, today I invite you to read through Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, specifically verses 21 through 35, where a parable is shared by Jesus about an unforgiving servant. There we find an example of someone who is encouraged to go out and to do unto others as has been done to him but instead takes the approach of trying to get the most out of a situation and in their attempt to get even and get what they think is theirs, they treat others unfairly. And it comes around again to not treat them so kindly when it's found out that they haven't extended the same grace that's been shown to them. That the servant who had been shown great mercy and forgiveness didn't show that same grace and mercy to others who owed debts to him. And as a result, when it was found out, his grace and forgiveness and kindness that had been shown was revoked. We find that as we go through life, if we're always trying to settle the score, to make things even, it not only becomes very tiring, but it oftentimes shows us that we are the victim and not the person we're intending to do harm to. Instead, from this example, we are reminded to rejoice in the good things that are shown to us and the grace that we experience, and then to go forth sharing that grace and kindness and goodwill with others. And that in return, we will feel better for it, and we know that we will make others' lives better as well, enhancing their lives by extending that grace, kindness, and compassion as it has been shown by God to us. So I invite you this week not to spend a lot of time thinking about how you're going to get even, but instead think about how you might get even in extending kindness, how you could even work towards extending what has been shown to you in terms of grace and mercy and joy. Go out there and pay it forward by extending God's grace and goodness by showing a little kindness to those around you. May God continue to bless you and show you grace and mercy, and may others receive that from you, as it has so generously been given to each of us. May God continue to guide you and bless you.